Good afternoon, folks. I'm Dan, back on the 701 project today. Uh, last video, why we did the form blocks for the ends of our fuel tanks. Got both of our form blocks here. If you haven't watched that video, I'll put a link in the description up here someplace. Anyway, these are our two form blocks. And this is the way I build my form blocks. We formed them up last time. We've got our bevels, spring back bevels on both sides. We've got our eighth inch radius over the top of them. So now we're going to see if we can't form up an end and make sure it's going to fit. Uh, 25 thousandths aluminum. And what I've done is I've already gone and cut a, an oversized piece here. Point this down at the table so we can see what's going on. And what we're going to do is lay out, uh, just lay out the edges of the fuel tank and how much overlap we want or how much extra we want on that flange. And I'm going to add more flange than I actually need on these and it'll have to be trimmed away later. But if you try and run a too small a flange, why um, it's harder to form. And the way I'm going to lay this out, this is the inside edge. I'm going to put about a half inch flange all the way around. Um, I think ultimately I'm only going to want a quarter or three-eighths of an inch. But to lay it out and make it form a little bit easier, we're going to put a half inch or 15 millimeters, something. Something like that. It's not going to be critical because, like I say, we'll trim it back later on. So if I lay this out with a half inch flange, we'll use this edge as our starting point. And mark a half inch on both ends. And then we can use this end as a as a reference and that's where we'll lay out our lay out the end of our form blocks section. We must not be straight with this back edge, so we'll use this as a reference line. This is going to give us our half inch or extra. Well, that's actually where the form is going to sit itself, or the size of the, where we want the form block to sit. The way I do my edges is I just use washers, and I've got a selection of washers, of course. That washer gives about a 3 8 offset, and this one gives a half inch. So all we do is set our washer along the edge and just run it along with our Sharpie without letting it slide underneath. And there we've got our layout. That way when you use that method to do it, when you're doing across the top of a rib that's got an arc to it or a something that's got a curved surface while you get your outer cut lines. And we're going to drill a corner relief hole at each corner to form around so we don't get any cracks. I've got a little bit of a radius on here so we'll just take that into account and guesstimate where we want it to be. And then we'll go ahead and cut those out. It's a pretty simple matter just to take your Ulfa knife. These are just straight flanges. blank. Let me get a drill bit and we'll drill our corner release. Approximately an eighth inch corner relief is what I'm going to put in here. Since I'm not back in the airplane factory I seem to be 
working in, I seem to be working in imperial measurements. Back there I seem to be a little bit more in tune to metric like the plan show. But for whatever reason out here I'm, I'm speaking English. blank to uh, form up. And we will set this up. It's just like this and line them up so that we're centered up on our block. I think that looks pretty good. Now you want to clamp these solidly in place so they don't walk around on you. And this is where good clamps are going to make a difference. And normally I take these and put them in the vise and form them that way. I think what I'm going to do with this is a little bit different. I think I'm just going to clamp it to the table. That way it's a little bit easier to see. Plus I think it'll be just about as secure doing it that way as it is to move it around the vise. Normally I'd put probably these three clamps on and then put it in the vise and just be able to move it through the vise to different positions. But I think for this we can do just as good a job by using our table since we're here. upwards so it will be a left end of a tank and the only reason I'm going to do it upwards is because that's the way I've marked out the I've already got it marked out and it's easier for me to see the the edges of the form blocks where I've got the layout lines so if we clamp this down like that we can just start working this edge up I'm just going to work it a little bit at a time and then I'm going to turn it around to make sure we stay centered in the in the form blocks and don't pull the aluminum through. Left hand is not my native direction either. Maybe I'll move the camera around here. There, I think you've got a little bit better view of it. Plus it's easier for me to work it that way.
Okay, while well, we turned it around, we're going to form up the other two edges or start them up. We'll get them most of the way up and then we'll turn around probably one more time. Maybe one or, one or two. Good. Turn it around one more time here. like we have a tank in. Let me grab a tank and let's see how it fits in the end. Well, by the time we straighten up our flanges and get everything situated, I think it'll be fine. We're a little bit out of position right now, but I think it'll... I think that will set in there. And fill the hole pretty well. Okay, I'm going to call that a successful tank end. Now before I cut any more of these and form them up, I will go ahead and straighten up the end of that tank and probably check this against a couple other tanks, at least one other tank, and it's going to be what I want it to do. I think I've got just a little too much flange here, and those corners will fill when we weld them up. That looks good. I think I'm happy with that. So that's the way I'm forming up my tank ends. It's pretty quick, pretty easy, not a, not a major, major thing. So anyway, hopefully this will help you a little bit with your build. If you find these videos helpful, why go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You can give me a thumbs up if you like them. And if you hit the bell notification, you'll know when I put out a new video. And any suggestions, comments, complaints you've got for me, why leave them in the comment section below. And thanks for taking the time to watch.